morning. Today is Monday, May 9th. I'm Bria. And I'm Maddie. Today our show will be about wonderful things that take you to magical places with your imagination. And by that we mean books. Books are wonderful things. They can teach us, show us, grand adventures, and more. Plus they are a great source of entertainment. So we'll be talking about our favorite books after announcements with Dana. There was a very nice turnout last week for the first Spartan marching band rehearsal and there is plenty room for more. The next rehearsal is tomorrow, Tuesday, May 10th from 6.30 to 9. All interested students are welcome to attend. There will be a mandatory DECA meeting Wednesday, May 11th after school in the small cafe at 3.20. DECA members will have the opportunity to hear candidates' speeches and discuss next year's officers. Please see Meredith Peckham or Mr. Anslone in B4 if you cannot attend. As always, you can visit WESMnews.com for today's announcements or to view today's show. Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Canadian officials said on Sunday that they expect to have to fight the wildfire raging in Alberta for months to come. The Alberta government said that this blaze will cover over 995 acres by Sunday. Significant rainfall is needed to stop the fire, but the weather is not cooperating and firefighter efforts are not enough. More than 80,000 have already left Fort McMurray where the fire was centered. A landslide caused by heavy rains on southeastern China killed at least 200, sorry, 22 hydropower station construction workers. Seven pe 17 people are still missing. Much of eastern and southern China was hit by torrential rain over the weekend, triggering floods and landslides, with some areas accumulating 7.5 inches in 24 hours, the highest since 1992. I love books. I know for me, once I start a good one, I can never put it down. Same. I love action and adventure books, and I just how fast they move and all the different things that can be encountered in those stories. I love all books, honestly. I'll just read everything, really. <laughs> So I read the Divergent series by Veronica Roth a while back and I absolutely loved it. It's about this girl in like in a dystopian future and it's <laughs> really cool. And I also recently read Magnus Chase Me as Guardian Gods, The Sword of Summer by Rick Rorden and that was really cool. It was the first book in its series and the next book comes out in the fall and I'm really excited. <laughs> I have also read the Magnus Chase series and love every book Rick Riordan writes. And I'm reading his newest book, The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, and I'm really enjoying it. But if I had to pick a favorite book, it'd probably be The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Nice. Now to your weather report with Cooper. I don't know what my favorite book is, but I know the librarians are always emailing me to return them. Uh, for today's weather report, this morning was mostly cloudy with light fog, and today's skies should clear, leaving us with sunny skies, and this trend will continue all the way until Thursday afternoon, when a storm system will likely head our way, bringing light showers that should pick up this weekend. Weather here may be sort of bleak, but the plains, more severe weather could bring hail storms and possible tornadoes. Two tornadoes in Colorado have already caused minor damage and severe thunderstorms and also have brought a few inches of rain. Today, Kansas City, Little Rock, and Texas, as well as a handful of other cities and many residential areas will experience severe thunderstorms that will bring more rain. <sighs> Today will be much cooler than average and with the high in the high to mid 50s. When this cold passes, temperatures will begin to rise with tomorrow being in the mid 60s and the middle of the in the middle of the week being in the 70s. Unfortunately, when rain picks up this weekend, temperatures will begin to fall. I'm Cooper with your weather. So every year, Barnes & Noble's releases a bestsellers list, and the newest list has some really interesting books in it. Today we'll be looking at just the teen section, but there's a section for every type of person to find a book that'll interest them. Some of these authors you may have heard of, but there are some that are new and aspiring authors who are trying to get their names out there that you may find you really enjoy. At the bottom of our list, we have The Rose and the Dagger by Renea Hadid, 
followed by The Rule of Thoughts, the second book in the Mortality Doctrine series by James, James Dashner. I love James Dashner. He wrote Same. The Maze Runner, and I loved that book. Me too. So following that book is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare and The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. At number five on the list is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, and number four is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. The next one is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which just had a movie made of it, which is, I know that that had Chloe Grace Martz in it, which that was pretty cool. And number two is The Raven King by Maggie Stayfader. I read that and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good book. And at number one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So that has a movie coming out pretty soon featuring Eva Green as Miss Peregrine, Asa Butterfield as Jacob, and Aiden Flowers as Young Jacob. The movie comes out on the 30th of September this year. It is an adventure fantasy flick directed by Tim Burton, so definitely a must-see for me. <laughs> I certainly think it looks interesting. Now to sports. The varsity baseball team suffered a tough loss over the weekend to CBA 7-0. They have an away game today against Fulton. The boys and girls varsity track and field teams attended the CBA Invitational on Friday. The boys have continued their successful performance with Adam Mojic placing first in the 200 and second in the 100 meter dash and long jump. Jeremy McGrath won the 110 meter hurdles. Connor Harrigan placed second in the high jump and Isaiah Brooks placed fourth in shot put. For the girls, the 4x8 relay placed third with Kaylee Burr, Katie Jacobs, Melanie DeFeo, and Megan Vanderwalker. Natalie Mara placed first in the 1500, Lindsay Craigle placed first in the shot put and discus, and Mia Montgomery placed first in the triple jump. The boys and girls will have the next meet this Wednesday at JD. In girls lacrosse, Marcellus defeated ESM 23 to 9. Bridget McGinley scored four of the nine goals. In the MLB, the Mets defeated the Padres 4 to 3, and the Yankees lost to the Red Sox 5 to 1. In the NBA playoff, the Spurs Thunder series is tied at 2 and 2 after the Thunder won last night 111 to 97. The teams will play game five of the series tomorrow night at 8. And Kim McGrath will do your sports. Hopefully, you enjoy books as much as we do, and hopefully, you want to read some of these. So next week on Saturday, May 14th, there will be a teen book fest with a lot of authors attending, even Lori Halls Anderson. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to tune in next week and we will be talking about that exact event. So for me and Maddie and everyone on The Morning Show, have a great day and here's the rest of the trailer. <laughs> 